¡Cantando!
quieto ahí. Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no. No, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. The secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. Governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough.
Debe de haberse escapado el manicón. Julio, ¿qué está tramando? Deténgase de inmediato. Buenos días, Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. ¿Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos, franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto más... respetable. Lleva meses en alta mar. Sé indulgente con él. Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Dr. I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse, <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine... Battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. Good kick, yes? I long for the day where one pile carries four bullets, and not the opposite. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. 